All right, welcome back to another episode of Onshape. And today, as you can see, we're going to be creating our multi-view drawings. And this is the solution page. We'll show you how to add multi-view drawings. So the first thing is to come over here to the plus and to create drawing. And we want to choose the ANSI A inch template. If you don't see that as a default, click show. And there it is, ANSI A inch. Make sure you choose size A, not one of these others. All right, and the first thing it says is, uh, what do you want to select? And for the solution page, we're going to choose to put our assemblies on there. So switch to assembly over here and select puzzle cube. And then we want to choose the isometric orientation. So we're going to show that. We're not going to choose switch explode position. View scale, we'll leave it at one to one. And we'll place the assembly on the right. Then we'll come back up here and insert another view. And this time, uh, choose isometric and switch the explode position to explode one. So in the previous video, we showed you how to make an exploded view. You go ahead and place it. When you place it, make sure it's not overlapping the border. It's not overlapping anything else. You want to place it. And if you can't move it so that it doesn't overlap, then you go back and adjust your exploded view in the assembly. Okay. And then we want to uh, right-click and show shaded view. So that will add the colors to both of these. And the next thing we're going to add is the bomb table that we created in the previous video. So come up here. And if you can't see this on your screen, the bomb table is hidden usually underneath this capital A, the little drop-down arrow next to it. So again, if some of these options that I'm clicking aren't showing up for you, check the drop-down arrow, uh, if you're, especially if you're on a Chromebook. And there's the bomb table, snap to the upper right. Uh, we want to add callouts which is over here also underneath that A. And the way the callout works is you find an edge, click, move the balloon out so it's not overlapping anything, and click again. And we'll do that, find an outside edge, click, place, click, place, find an outside edge, click, and place, and click, and place, and then green check mark. There's the callouts. Last thing is, the title block down in the lower right, you can zoom in there. Uh, double click on that first line, delete the dashes, and type in puzzle cube. The title, so capitalize the first letters. Then double click the second line, delete the dashes, type in IED period, and whatever period you're in. Let me check. And then finally the third line, delete the dashes, and type in Northland HS. Okay. All right, and that is the solution page. Okay, solution page is finished. So the next thing we're going to add is a multi-view drawing. So come over here to where it says Sheets. Click on that. And we're going to add or insert sheet. And we are going to insert our first part. So come up here to insert view. And this time, we're going to click Insert and select, instead of Assembly, we're going to select our first part, the brown. Click that. And this time we do want the front view, but we're going to change the view scale to 2 to 1. So it's a little bit larger, easier to see. 2 to 1. Okay, come. The, the front view goes in the lower left corner. Click. And then it lets you project a view, so we're going to move our mouse up and project the top view. And then from there, we have to reselect the front, click on that, and project the isometric view. And then we select the front again and project the right view. Okay, then press the escape key on your keyboard, it's ESC on your keyboard, and that cancels out of whatever tool you're in. So now we can come over to the isometric Right-click, Show Shaded View. We have hidden lines on the top view, so we're going to right-click on that and show hidden lines. And if you have hidden lines in other views, you should right-click and show those there as well. 
Now the last thing we need are dimensions, and I'm going to show you how to do ordinate dimensions. That's this button up here, 0, 1, 2. Click on that. And ordinate dimensions, we start from the first edge. Click, move your mouse up in this case, and place that. And then click on the next edge, and the next edge, until you've got all the edges, and then press escape. That's the width. The heights, you want to get either the bottom or the top, so we're going to move that out to the right. And click the next edge, click the next edge. That's the heights, press escape. And then ordinate dimension, we're going to get the depths. I'm going to start from the front, click, move it out, click the next edge, and the next edge, and press escape. And this uh, part is now fully dimensioned with hidden lines, top, front, and right views. And to start the next one, I would click Insert Sheet, start the next.